Disney is, without a doubt, the biggest studio in show business. That's why we're already counting down the days to what they're offering us in 2018, as it looks like it's gonna be one heck of an exciting year. Seriously, there's something for everyone next year from Disney. After all, I am your biggest fan. And we thought we'd start to get you excited by counting down the films we're most excited for in 2018. But before you get too excited over our list, be sure to give us a like and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything Screen Rants. But first, can you guess the magical movie based on these emojis? Stay tuned for the answer. Wanna get to them? You gotta go through me. <gasps> Black Panther. By far, one of the standout characters from Captain America Civil War was the debut of T'Challa, better known as the Black Panther. Played by Chadwick Boseman, the upcoming film promises to give audiences a gritty tale of royalty and betrayal set within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Co-starring with Boseman are Michael B. Jordan, Lupita Nyong'o, Martin Freeman, Forrest Whitaker, and Andy Serkis, among many others, under the direction of Ryan Coogler, who is best known for directing the critically acclaimed Creed film, in which Michael B. Jordan starred in the title role. If you're unfamiliar with the character, T'Challa is the crown king of the fictional country of Wakanda, the home of the vibranium mineral found in Captain America's shield. T'Challa finds his sovereignty in jeopardy after an old antagonist comes back to challenge him. Bozeman really stole the show in Civil War, and we can't wait to see what he'll do in his first solo film for Marvel. As entertaining as that would be. The film also boasts a fantastic cast of A-list actors, so here's hoping this film delivers some great character moments as well as some jaw-dropping action. Coogler has already demonstrated he can shoot fight scenes in the boxing movie Creed, so the sky's the limit when it comes to filming a scene for a super Hero. We can't wait to see this one jump into theaters on February 16th, 2018. Job had recently dressed a seal in a bow tie and used him in a magic trick. Magic Camp. Mark Waters, the director behind Freaky Friday and the smash hit Mean Girls, comes back to Disney to give us what will hopefully become another trendy classic. Magic Camp is co-written by Dan Greger and Doug Mann, and based off an early treatment by the great Steve Martin, and will follow the character of Andy, played by Adam Devine, who returns to the magic camp of his childhood in order to reinvigorate his career, only to find the inspiration he was looking for in a motley crew of rookie magicians. Co-starring with him is Jeffrey Tambor from Arrested Development as Andy's former mentor. What a fun name. Of all the movies on this list, this is the film with the least amount of information out there, which naturally has us pretty intrigued and curious. Disney have been on a roll lately with their films, so to hear about a film that deals with magic that is keeping its plot details relatively under wraps certainly does sound enticing. You can enroll in Magic Camp on April 6th, 2018. A Wrinkle in Time you may not have heard about A Wrinkle in Time yet, but that means you shouldn't forget about it going forward. The first bit of information you should know right off the bat is that the film is being helmed by Ava DuVernay, the director behind the critically acclaimed movie Selma. So that alone should tell you this movie should be marked on your calendars like right now. The film is based on the book of the same name and is a remake of the Disney television movie that came out in 2003. The film boasts a really awesome cast from Reese Witherspoon, Mindy Kaling, Chris Pine, Oprah Winfrey, Michael Penna, newcomer Storm Reid, and Zach Galifianakis, all starring in this live action adaptation of the film. DuVernay will be the first woman of color to direct a film with over a hundred million dollars in its budget, so this will definitely be a milestone film for the Mouse House. In case you never saw the original film, the plot will be about three children, Meg, her brother, and their friend, being sent into space by three peculiar beings in order to find the father of Meg and her brother. This sounds like it could be another classic fairy tale for Disney. We can certainly look forward to seeing that once it hits theaters on March 9th, 2018. I'm shaking your hand too long. Wow, this is awesome. Captain America. I know you too. You're great. Avengers Infinity War. It all comes down to this. Ever since 2008, when the first Iron Man film was released, Marvel fans have watched the MCU grow into the powerhouse that it is today. During the after credits scene in the first Avengers movie, we all got to see that it was Thanos, the Mad Titan, who was pulling the strings behind the scenes. He may have played a passive role in the events of the MCU over the past nine years, but in 2018, he's going to make a big impact as the Infinity War gets off. The MCU films have been teasing the Infinity Stones for years now, and we all know Thanos as the coveted Infinity Gauntlet thanks to the after credits scene in Age of Ultron. What comes next is part one of a two-part showdown, in which just about every Marvel character we know of to date will come together in an epic brawl against their greatest foe yet. The MCU films have, for the most part, been consequence-free, so here's hoping that Thanos actually ends up doing some serious damage to the Avengers, maybe even taking a few of them out to make the situation feel desperate. Both films will be directed by the Rousseau brothers, who helmed the acclaimed Winter Soldier and Civil War films under the Captain America banner. We know the Rousseaus can deliver a deep film with some awesome action, so we have high expectations for what Infinity War can accomplish. We'll find Find out just what will happen in the first act of the battle on May 4th, 2018. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. On Solo. 
Rogue One, a Star Wars story, was a huge hit for Disney and Lucasfilm, and it opened the door wide open to the infinite possibilities for what they can do with the anthology spin-off films. While Rogue One was a gritty wartime epic, the still untitled Han Solo movie should spice things up in terms of giving us a lighter adventure that's more focused on character rather than plot. Stepping into the role of the rugged scoundrel this time is Alden Ehrenreich, best known for his work in Hail Caesar. Joining him will be Donald Glover as Lando and Woody Harrelson as his mentor, along with Amelia Clark, Tandy Newton, and Michael Kenneth Williams in unspecified roles. Of course, our favorite Wookiee Chewbacca will be joining the action <laughs> under the direction of Lord and Miller, best known for their work on the Lego Movie and the Jump Street films. Empire Strikes Back and Force Awakens writer Lawrence Kasdan is co-penning the script with his son, so we know the story will be a great character experience that will feel like Star Wars. The film has a lot riding on it, as it features the recasting of a major character in the franchise, but with all the talent working on and off the camera on this one, don't everybody thank me at once. Pretty hard not to get excited thinking about this film's upcoming release on May 25th, 2018, 41 years to the date after the original Star Wars was released in cinemas. <laughs> Ant-Man and the Wasp. 2015's Ant-Man may have been a tiny hit for Marvel and Disney, but that's not stopping them from giving the character his own sequel after the events of the Infinity War Part 1. We wonder how this will work, since the Avengers will be at war. Will this story serve as a prequel, or will there be a calm before the storm, so to speak, before Part 2 of the Avengers film comes out in 2019? I'm gonna make some tea. It's still too early to say, but we are very curious to see how it will play out. Returning to the film are Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly as Ant-Man and the Wasp, respectively, as well as Michael Douglas as Hank Pym, Michael Penna, and David Desmalchian in their roles from the first movie. Peyton Reed is also returning to direct, but the film will be without a story treatment from the great Edgar Wright this time around. The plot at the moment remains completely unknown, probably due to it having some spoilers for the Infinity War. Interestingly enough, though, neither Ant-Man or the Wasp are part of the cast for Infinity War, which is odd, considering where we left off with Ant-Man and the gang at the end of Civil War. Perhaps Ant-Man is on his own covert mission that ties into the greater MCU threat as a whole. Either way, we have a feeling that this movie won't be so small this time around. Mark your calendars for its July 18th release date. Mulan! Mulan? Ah! Nope. Mulan. There's a lot riding on the success of Mulan. The original animated film was part of the Disney Renaissance and is still considered to be one of the best Disney films made in the 90s. The live action Disney remakes have been on a roll lately though, with The Jungle Book being a great cinematic experience. So we should expect something pretty amazing when it comes to this one. After reports of whitewashing from other film series, including Ghost in the Shell and Netflix Death Note, Disney decided the only logical thing to do with their Mulan movie was to cast Asian only actors. Makes sense to me. Maybe what I really wanted was to prove I could do things right. While no casting has been confirmed as of this time, Ming-Na Wen is being considered for an unknown role, with many speculating that she'll be playing Mulan's mother. Ming-Na Wen was the voice actress for Mulan in the animated version, so this would be a fun little easter egg. Nikki Caro is slated to direct the historical epic that has some fans pretty angry over the fact that there will be no musical numbers in this version, unlike Beauty and the Beast. Mulan is a pretty serious film though, so perhaps Disney thought breaking out into song while at war seemed a bit weird in live action. Time will tell though, as we can expect Mulan to ride into theaters on November 2nd, 2018. I'm not through with you yet. Ralph breaks the internet. Wreck it, Ralph 2. I'm gonna wreck it. Or rather, he's gonna break it, as Wreck-It Ralph 2 will smash his way into theaters on November 21st, 2018. We couldn't be happier to hear this news. Wreck-It Ralph was a surprise hit for both Disney and fans, who got a great kick out of seeing all the clever Easter eggs and pop culture references scattered throughout the movie. Many of them were targeted to certain niches, and definitely would not register in the minds of most children these days, which is why so many adults found enjoyment in the movie. That didn't stop children from loving Ralph and its adventure, so the film certainly holds a special place for many families and video game fans. Now it's time for the sequel though, and fans are already excited to see what kind of fun adventure Ralph will get up to this time, and what kind of secret characters will be hiding in the frames. I'm already happy. The story this time takes place six years after the events of the first time, and sees a Wi-Fi router get installed in the arcade, opening the door to all kinds of new adventures for Ralph and company across the internet. Returning are John C. Riley and Sarah Silverman as Ralph and Vanellope Von Schweetz, Jack McBrayer as Fixit Felix, and Jane Lynch as Sergeant Calhoun. Joining the cast is none other than K2SO himself, Alan Tudyk. Mary Poppins? Yes, yes, of course. Mary Poppins Returns. Well, I think we can all agree that we never thought we'd see this one ever happen. <laughs> but on Christmas Day next year, Mary Poppins will indeed be returning to the big screen in the sequel to the classic 1964 film. Rob Marshall, the man behind films like Chicago, Nine, Into the Woods, and Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, will direct the film this time around from a script by Oscar nominee David McGee. Mary Poppins Returns will thankfully not be a reboot of the classic film, and will take place 25 years after the events of the original film. Mary Poppins Returns actually 
actually has one of the longest gaps between sequels in cinematic history, so it'll be curious to see what newcomers think of the sequel. And if you think I'm gonna keep my mouth shut any longer, I... Emily Blunt assumes the role of Mary Poppins, which was previously played by the great Julie Andrews. Joining her is Lin-Manuel Miranda of Moana and Hamilton fame, Ben Wishaw, best known as Q in the Daniel Craig Bond movies, Emily Mortimer, Colin Firth, and Meryl Streep as Topsy Poppins. The plot sees Mary Poppins returning to visit Jane and Michael Banks after tragedy strikes the family. It sounds pretty dark and serious, especially for a Christmas movie, but we can surely expect Mary Poppins to help cheer up the Banks in their hour of need. Now, the question remains, will the sequel have enough musical numbers that can rival that of the original supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Anyone? Appreciate what you did in the old days, but those days are over. Incredibles 2. By the time The Incredibles 2 hits theaters, it will have been 14 years since the first film came out. Does that diminish our excitement for this upcoming Disney Pixar superhero film? Heck no. It's one of our most anticipated films. The first Incredibles was a blast, offering great comedic humor, action, and character moments that have stayed with us over the years. Now that the children who saw the first Incredibles have all grown up, we should prepare ourselves for some Toy Story 3 moments, where the filmmakers directly target their former audience while also serving up a fun and entertaining story for any new kids coming to the series. While the cast isn't entirely confirmed yet, we should expect to see all of The Incredibles return, as well as Samuel L. Jackson's Lucius Best, which is one of the two returning cast members confirmed. Eat it! Uh-uh! Don't you think about running off and doing no daring do? We've been planning this dinner for two months! The public is in danger! Along with Holly Hunter as Elastigirl. Also returning is veteran animation director Brad Bird, who directed the first Incredibles movie, as well as Ratatouille and The Iron Giant. Bird stated that despite The Incredibles being a superhero team, he wanted to avoid modern tropes found in contemporary superheroes hero films. Guess that means no after credit scene? Plot details are being kept under wraps for the time being, but we should learn more from trailers leading up to the June 15th release date. So there you have it. We can't stress this enough. We're super pumped for what Disney's working on for next year. From sequels, superheroes, originals, and events in a galaxy far, far away. Disney is offering something for everyone. What are you most excited to see? And which films are you most curious about? Whatever you think, let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this one. And of course, the answer to our emoji trivia question is... 